What up, people? It's your man, so say, you know what time it is, man. It's that time when I just speak my mind. You know, welcome to the social mantra. This is going to be, like, an official thing. Like, the social mantra is going to be, like, uh, uh, um, I, I don't want to say a show. Just, you know, yeah, I don't know. A program? I don't, I don't know, man. Whatever it is. You know what I mean? Uh, where I just, you know, look into the conversations that I had around in and around Mirafon, where I, wherever I can reach, you know, because I'm not going to reach everywhere. But, you know, usually in Kudzum, I will be able to reach because I know people. But if they happen online, then great, because I can be there even if I'm not there. You know what I mean? Um, you know, following the conversations on, on, you know, the legislative millennials, which was hosted by Busiso Ash, Asha Blessed, uh, he had two guest, you know, speakers, so, yeah, yeah, guest speakers, which was, uh, uh, who happened to be Lindo, sorry, Lindo, Kaiso, and Moana Maboe. And, you know, I think the central theme of the, of the whole dialogue was centered around, um, you know, the importance of voting. I think that was the core theme. And if I'm not mistaken, how about you forgive me if I've, you know, gone, you know, gone the other way, you know, um, it was a very fruitful conversation uh the guys you know know their story they they know their politics to an extent they understand what happened the history where we come from because that's where it starts sort of you know from you know the apartheid era you know moving you know i think you know post 1994 and you know and so on um And, you know, the, the question, is it important to vote? Is voting going to help us? Who is benefiting from voting? You know, it's a very important question. And I need to address this to people because I'm not speaking to politicians. This is not an attack at anyone. This is just simply um, politics. Uh, not, not, not politics, but this is just simply an eye-opener to those people that follow some of these people. You understand? Is it important to vote? Well, that it depends on everyone. It, I think that's a that's that that depends. The people who vote, the people who don't, and yeah, that that's just how it is. It's a matter of how you view it. Now I'm gonna look at a question that is different. Is it still relevant to vote? I don't think so. Is it wrong to vote? No, there's nothing wrong to with voting. Is it wrong not to vote? No, they are both constitutional rights. Everybody has a right to vote or not to vote. So I guess we have that. But is it relevant? Let's speak about its relevancy in our age and time. Yes, in 1994, it was very important uh, because we had to shift power, you know, from, you know, uh, a white government that was oppressing people into a you know, a black government, uh, which will, you know, which was disadvantaged at the time. You understand what I mean? So my question of relevancy, of the relevancy of, you know, of, 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 of voting comes from a place of not seeing results in, you know, my experience, in, in my experiences, you know, I mean, yeah. yeah. According to my experience, this is a voter. Once I voted, you know, I voted, and there are times when I, did, when I didn't vote, but there are times when I voted. So it, it was like, okay, fine. Now I'm tired of voting because I don't see what's going on. You know what I mean? And I can tell you something just from my experience is that whether you vote or you don't, it really doesn't change your life. And I'm speaking to the individual. I'm not speaking to uh, the party. Yeah, for a party, it's good because you will get votes as a party and you will have people that, you know, understand your mandate manifesto and whatnot. That's cool. You understand? But I'm speaking to the individual. Individually, have I benefited from voting? Of course not. Do I vote to benefit? Hell yeah. I want to benefit. You understand? What, where, where am I going with this? I'm speaking to the youth that is not motivated, that is not self-actualizing, uh, that's not self-actualizing. I'm speaking to uh, 
the people that are mocking independent thinking, you know, so this is obviously sent to Maria, you know, who, who was like, you know, be an independent thing. You are backwards if you don't vote. You are, you are, you are, you are uncivilized. You know, he was very, you know what I mean? Um, he was not nice to people who don't vote, <laughs> but it's cool, man. You know, um, um, is that where do you vote my uncivilized non-voters? Or not or whether you vote and you are civilized as a voter here's what's going to happen if you don't take the necessary steps to change yourself my brother my sister you are still going to be the same after four years or five years of you know of you know as a particular party ruling or basically just in office it's not going to change anything i'm saying let me let me ask you a question so let's say um such and such party comes into power and then you don't have metric you you, you didn't go to school you didn't pay your dues man you didn't do your your you know what you were supposed to do you know like most of us haven't uh and say there's a post that needs accountant engineers there's a post that one's town planners, you know, civil engineers, um, whatever, man, like secretaries, let's just, you know, and you don't have metric. Do you think that you're going to, you know, uh, qualify for those positions? Of course not. And we do know that there's more people on the lower ranking jobs than there is on the high ranking jobs and by high ranking jobs jobs i'm speaking about professional you know uh, occupations where you are required to have certain skills and certain training to be uh to fu to fulfill those positions because they cannot have you in a position if you're incompetent understand you need to be competent then there are labor or some work and like you know the, the works that turn on the maybe hotelady does be or you know works to you cleaning the street those works will be usually full of people because but people without you know skills what am i trying to say is that if you do not take the necessary steps to shift your situation and you know get yourself in in places where you can learn something that you can do that will be able to at least you know uh, put you in a better position when you market yourself uh, during you know um, difficult times that you have a better chance than a person who votes you have a better chance than a person who votes to l at least reduce the amount of suffering you will go through <laughs> you know as you know the tides of life come and come come for you because they are coming understand what i'm saying is you need to be accountable people politicians are not telling you that they're not telling you that, yeah, you can vote us into office, but we are not going to change everyone's life. They're not telling you that. They're not. They're telling you, no, we are going to create this. We are going to build this. We are going to, we, and there's nothing like that. Because these are limited people. As much as they are brilliant minds, these people are limited in, in a lot of ways. They don't know everything. And they are not you know um sure even about the things they are saying they're just saying them out of a, from a place of hope and from a place not a, from a place of rationale like if you really put the paperwork down then it's a different story anybody who has done or who has done a business they know that you know the idea is very dope it's very it's it's shining in the mind but come the you know the actual work then we, we we are telling we you know we are talking a different story so what am i saying to you is that you need to look nowhere else but within yourself whether you vote or you don't it doesn't matter you can go vote there's nothing wrong with it i'm not discouraging you to although i don't think it will basically do much of a difference you need we need to find ways if if it's like look by say god that dog go sell that god if Tamilo Paisi Mazemba, 
scopas, peanuts, whatever. You need to learn how to sell if you have to. You have to learn how to work if you have to. You have to learn something that's going to at least make you know your life a little bit better and that you can actually negotiate with when you talk to these politicians that you have voted into power because if you say no but i'm not getting this they will be like but you haven't done the work you haven't done the, we can't give you this position because you are not trained you can't occupy this you know that's what i'm telling you guys and another thing is you know morena i just want to correct you about you know um you believe in that every civilization has to have a, a, a leadership and to me it sounded like you assume in your own mind that leadership is is supposed to be you know translated into politicians no we don't necessarily need politicians we need leaders yes not politicians they are leaders who are doing great things we can talk about Stephen Biko he was not starting a party he was starting a, a movement of people of thinkers of people who knew themselves black consciousness movement the greatest movement ever established in South Africa according to me because it was trying to teach people who they are remind people and this is the most important I think idea and you know for for Lindo for you to um, refer to these ideas that I'm sharing you know to tell people that they need to self actualize and that they need to be determined in to change their own lives is a liberal concept I, I don't think you you got it right my guy I think you are losing the plot because that's exactly what you need to be teaching people you need to make them conscious of who they are and what they're capable of of their an untapped potential because a person that's not doing something with their lives is untapped potential it's potential that we don't know we don't know it could have probably been the next person who was going to be the most innovative person and since they are not exploring that potential we will never find out they might even hit the grave with it do you understand what i'm saying so you calling these concepts you know liberal concepts and just politics of ideology was really i think you will you were really aiming low you were really you didn't really really look at what i was saying so my people i'm going to end my video here that if you want to go vote go vote it's there's nothing wrong with it you register vote but still be accountable do your bit of the work go hustle bro like get get ideas going get up get up do something for yourself because that political party that you would have voted is not going to change your life you you are still going to have to put in the work do you understand what i'm saying so with that said man i, I think i'm gonna leave it there man you know um but you know shout out to the guys i'm really really you know um grateful that you guys had the, you know the conversation and i really big you up I, I wish you continue i wish you you know uh peace love you know and you know just strength in all your pursuits and endeavors and i hope that you achieve your goals individually and as a collective and especially you know to the guys you know alindo and and and, and morena we need you guys to really really move yourselves to you know to places you know um that can really you know you know render you successful you know what i mean so that you can influence people because you have that energy you have that you know that drive you have that you know what i mean that that aura that people like and that that's really cool and and i feel like you guys you know should do that because you, you are very important to me when you are very important to Kutso. um and i just wanted to big you up you know and yeah one love man peace and love to everybody and yeah good luck with everything salute